So, for us, I know obviously there were not many completed passes to go around these two or three weeks without a catch for you. Simply, what's what's going on? Why, why haven't you able to get get going? Uh, you consecutively? No, I mean, two of the past three. Oh, two of the past three. Um, you know, it just be kind of like. You have your good days, you have your bad days, you know. I mean, like, I, that's why I asked you consecutively. I mean, you can go last week, had seven catches, um, 60 yards, something like that. But, um, you know, as a team, when we, did, we just didn't play well, you know, um, catches or not. I mean, we, we, you know, we weren't hitting all cylinders. We weren't um, together. There's a lot of things that we, we know we can get better at. Uh, we just didn't play that well, you know, the other day. Um, you know, I mean, there's a lot of things you could look at. I mean, I missed three games, you know, um, so um, who knows? You know, this conversation might be different had I played those three games. You know, we might be looking at it like, you know, oh, you know, he had some games where he didn't touch the ball. Or we might be looking at it like, oh, you know, oh, he had three games where he did really well. So, I mean, it's really hard to say. I, I wouldn't speak on just me individually, but there's certain things that we all can do better as a group, so. Hey, Russ, trying to figure out um, how they got the 10 batted balls in the was timing off in the routes or it's good coverage? Um, honestly, like I said, um, there was just several things. There was, there was things I could have done better. There was things, you know, obviously as an offense we could have done better. Um, I mean, there's things you could look at all over. You know, there's things I could have done better to get separation. I mean, literally, I, I, I keep reiterating, but it, the biggest thing is that you know when I looked at the film, we just didn't play good as a group. When you got Um, I mean, I don't think it's, it's, you know, made it extremely difficult. I mean, you look at last week where we didn't run the ball that well, but we kind of, you know, threw all over them. You know, and the Saints are a good football team, just as Dallas was. Um, you know, we know what we can do. We know we can run the ball. We know we want to run the ball. Um, but, you know, as a, a player, as a receiver, I know um, my job is to um, block when we do run the ball, but you know, get open and catch the ball when we when we pass it. I'm gonna hold that. That's a standard for me, regardless whether it does does a run gain or not. You know, so. I know we were talking to Arthur, and after the game, he's talking about wanting to see more separation in, in man coverage against mm -hmm. man coverage. And I was just curious, from a mechanic standpoint, like what what's the key to doing that? I mean, I know it's, it varies from guy to guy, but mm -hmm. if, if you can kind of pinpoint like the, the key to kind of make sure that there isn't. Right. Well, there's a lot of things, you know, understanding leverage, um, understanding what these guys like to do when they come into games. Uh, you know, we have to understand um, there. I mean, you know, giving Dallas credit, they did a lot of good things, disguising coverages, uh, disguising looks before the plays. Um, you know, and they had a lot of things set up in good ways that, you know, kind of counter what we were trying to do. So, but as a player, you know, I have to probably do a better job of understanding what I'm going into, what they like to play, um, and then attacking it from there. Hey, I realized there's a report that Cordell might miss a couple games with the ankle injury. What will that mean for the offense? Has been such a big part of things uh, thus far. Um, well, obviously, you know that that hits our offense hard, but you know we're we're already on to the next play, next next game. You know, next man up is kind of how we look at it. Gallman came in, did a great job to me, um, and to a lot of guys. So we we always have the next man up mentality. So. Um, yeah, for, for, so for me, you know, I kind of talk to the group, you know, um, you know, I feel like for me, no one understands the receiver side better than another receiver. So, you know, we kind of talk as a group, kind of break things down and, and it helps to understand, okay, so this is what you saw or, or this is what we see or, okay, you know, I, I, I thought I may have seen that, you know, um, and so those things kind of help me move forward. The guys, you know, OZ, Taj, all those boys, um, Blake, you know, they kind of help me. Um, kind of get over whatever slump I may feel like I'm in. Have you taken over some sort of leadership role in Calvin's absence? Um, definitely. Um, I mean, there's definitely things I could do better in the leadership role. Um, but I think it's more so as a group thing. You know, OZ has a role in that too. You know, Taj has a role in that too. Um, 
you know, obviously uh, Calvin being out, there's a big part of us missing, but at the same time, we all know that we have to step up together um, and take over that role together. Anything else? Great, thanks for us. All right, thank you.